हेलो एवरीवन तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आज इन गेट 2024 एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो लेट अस डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ के मैप एंड यू आर आस्क्ड टू फाइंड आउट द इसेंशियल प्राइम इंप्लिकेंट ऑफ दिस गिवन बुलियन फंक्शन ओके लेट अस डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर द बुलियन फंक्शन एफ ऑफ ए बी सी डी मीन टर्म एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द बुलियन फंक्शन इज गिवन you can see that the essential prime implicants are and they, there are four options so whenever you are asked to find out you are asked to find out whenever you are asked to find out the essential prime implicant then always draw the k map always draw the k map and then from the k map you can easily find out the essential prime implicants okay and the definition of essential prime implicant should be clear to you okay now let us solve the question okay a b c d where a b is on the most significant side so this k map will be a bar b a b and a b bar c bar d bar c bar d c d and c d bar let us fill the terms which are given in the boolean expression 0 0 for 0 the output is 1 0 1 2 and 3 for 2 this output is 1 3 is missing 4 for 5 it is 1 6 and 7 for 7 it is also 1 then 8 for 8 it is 1 9 it is not 10 for 10 it is 1 then 11 for 8 9 10 11 11 11 is missing now 12 13 14 and 15 it is 1 so these are the terms for which the output is 1 and remaining boxes the obviously the output is 0 okay so what is an essential prime implicant a prime implicant in which at least single one is there which will be covered only by that prime implicant is called as essential prime implicant i am repeating again a prime implicant in which at least one at least single one is there more than one is there then that is also good at least single one should be there which is covered only by that prime implicant only then that prime implicant is said to be essential prime implicant now let us find out the possible prime implicants which can be formed here okay now first prime implicant which can be formed here is this the group of these four ones why because this is a prime implicant why because this group of four ones cannot be combined to other prime implicant to reduce its variable a prime a implicant is said to be prime implicant this group of four ones is a implicant The, an implicant is said to be prime implicant if it cannot be combined with another implicant to reduce its variables obviously if this quad is combined with another quad then it can form octet and it can reduce more variables okay so this is definitely a implicant okay no problem and if you look closely this group of four ones is also a prime implicant because this quad cannot be combined with another quad because quad can be combined with quad only quad cannot be combined with pair to form a six one term hai na that is not possible hai na so this quad cannot be combined to form an octet you can see here no octet is forming okay so this is also a prime implicant we'll come later to find out the essential prime implicant let us first find out the prime implicants okay now this one is remaining okay this one is remaining now these two ones can be covered by this implicant huh? this implicant okay now let us concentrate how many prime implicants can be formed these two ones can be covered by this implicant if these two ones can be if it these two ones are covered by this implicant that is this quad then 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 now you cannot form this quad by combining these two one and these two one 
because this quad is also possible and if you look this quad if you look the, at this quad this horizontal quad this is also a prime implicant this is also a prime implicant why sir because this quad also cannot be combined with another quad to form an octet so this is definitely a prime implicant and this quad this quad this these two one and these two one is also a prime implicant because this quad can also not be combined with another quad to form an octet so there are four prime implicants possible this is one prime implicant this four group of corner ones is one prime implicant this horizontal is one of, uh, implicant and this one is also an implicant okay so there are four prime implicants only possible apart from these four prime implicants no other prime implicants are possible now we need to find out the essential prime um, prime implicant out of these four prime implicants this is very very important where concept comes into picture so firstly you need to find out the total number of prime implicants which are possible these this quad this quad this quad and this quad because these quads cannot be combined with another quad to form an octet and therefore this this is called as essential uh, prime implicant because prime implicant is are those implicants which cannot be combined with another implicant hai na let us assume if you you if you want to say this pair as a prime implicant this is wrong why because this pair can be combined with this pair to form a quad therefore this pair which is also an implicant is not a prime implicant this is an implicant but not a prime implicant so there are four prime implicants possible this quad this quad and these two quads which are shown here okay now out of these four prime implicants only some of them will be essential some of them will be non essential obviously now if a if a prime if once if all the ones of a prime implicant can be covered by more than ones more than one prime implicant then that implicant is non essential prime implicant or you can say that if all the ones of an prime implicant all the ones of a prime implicant can be covered by other prime implicants also then that prime implicant is a non essential prime implicant if at least single one is there in a prime implicant which can be covered only by that prime implicant then that prime implicant is said to be essential now look at this prime implicant this pink one here these two ones cannot be covered by any other prime implicant why sir because there are only four prime implicants one is this pink one other one is white one third one is this one and fourth one is this one only four prime implicants are there so these two ones are covered only by this prime implicant because this prime implicant cannot cover these two ones this white prime implicant cannot cover this two prime implicants hai na this prime implicant side one cannot cover these two ones so in this prime implicant two ones are there which are covered only by this prime implicant so definitely this is an essential prime implicant for sure essential is for sure essential prime implicant okay now look at this white one quad white quad okay here here these two ones cannot be covered by any other prime implicant so in this prime implicant at least two one are at least at least no here two ones are there which are covered only by this prime implicant therefore this is also an essential means if at least single one is there which is covered only by that prime implicant then that prime implicant said to be essential so this is also essential now look at remaining two prime implicants whether they are essential or not now look at this horizontal prime implicant this horizontal let us form this hai na because there are four prime implicants we have checked two prime implicants hai na because these two these two ones cannot be covered by any other prime implicant because other prime implicants are this one this is not covering these two ones horizontal prime implicant is not covering these two one this sideways prime implicant is not covering these two ones so these two ones are covered only by this white quad and therefore this white quad is essential prime implicant now look at this prime implicant there are four ones in this prime implicant these two ones are covered can be covered by this 
पिंक वन तो फोर आउट ऑफ दीज फोर वन ऑफ दिस प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट आउट ऑफ फोर वन ऑफ दिस प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट दीज टू वन कैन बी कवर्ड बाई एन अदर प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट विच इज दिस पिंक वन नाउ ऑल्सो दीज टू वन कैन बी कवर्ड बाई दिस प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट है ना दीज टू वन कैन बी कवर्ड बाई दिस प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट दिस प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट ओके दीज टू वन सो ऑल द फोर वन ऑफ दिस हॉरिजेंटल क्वार्ट कैन बी कवर्ड बाई अदर प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट ऑल्सो दीज टू वन कैन बी कवर्ड बाई दिस प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट and other prime implicant which is sideways prime implicant and these two ones can be covered by this pink one prime implicant so all the ones of this prime implicant can be covered by other prime implicants also therefore it is a non essential prime implicant okay now now look at this so this third prime implicant is a non essential prime implicant now consider this fourth prime implicant this one whether this is essential or non essential prime implicant now this prime implicant has four ones 1 2 3 4 these two ones can be covered by other prime implicant that is white implicant okay white quad implicant hai na so who out of these four ones these two ones are covered by other prime implicants which is white quad and now remaining two ones are also covered are also covered by the horizontal prime implicant so these two ones can be covered by another prime implicant which is white quad these two ones are also can be covered these two ones can also be covered by this another prime implicant this horizontal one so all the four ones 1 2 3 4 ones can be covered by other prime implicants also so here no single one is there which can be covered only by this prime implicant therefore this prime implicant is also non essential so this is essential this is only two essential prime implicants are there the value of this quad is b here d here so bd and this quad from here to here b bar is constant and from here to here what is constant b bar is constant so bd and b bar d bar are the essential prime implicants what are non essential prime implicants this ab is non essential essential one so there are four prime implicants and this is essential and this is non essential and this side one is a and from here you will get d bar so these these are non essential so there are four prime implicants two are non essential ab and ad bar and essential one bd and b bar d bar bd and b bar d bar is the right option okay okay this is the correct this is very beautifully framed question asked in gate examination so let us discuss the next question okay